Hello, my name is Terry Harrison. I'm going to show you how to paint a doorway in watercolour. Now one of the most difficult things to do with watercolour is putting the image onto the watercolour paper. Let me show you a very simple way of doing that. We're going to use a material called trace down paper. You do the drawing first on a thin layout paper. Then with the trace down paper, put that face down onto your watercolour paper, tape that into position, and then simply draw over your image on the front sheet, and this is transferred onto your watercolour paper by the trace down paper. Now just make sure it's all coming through, that's very good, and just continue to trace down the whole of the image from one side to the other. Right, that's the drawing complete. Remove the trace down paper, take off the layout, and we're ready to go. The drawing is on the paper. Around the edge of the paper is some masking tape. The masking tape is there for decoration only, so when you finish the painting, you can remove the tape and you're left with a nice white border. The next thing I'm going to do is use masking fluid, and we put the masking fluid on with a brush called the masking fluid brush. But first, wet the brush, then wipe the brush over a bar of soap. The soap will form a barrier between the brush and the masking fluid. So the masking fluid won't actually stick to the brush. Then dip the brush into the masking fluid and paint out the flower shapes on the watercolour paper. Right, try not to have the masking fluid too thick. If it's too thick it just takes too long to dry. Wash the brush out. And always put the lid back the masking fluid. Allow that to dry completely. With the golden leaf brush, I'm going to paint in the stonework and the foreground. I'm going to start with some raw sienna, not too strong. Wash that over the stonework, not quite up to the top of the picture. Bring that down. slightly stronger mix of the same colour, dab that in like that, by the side of the door and down into the flowers in the pot on the left hand side. While that's still wet, with a touch of burnt sienna, dab that into the wet trying to create a bit of um, texture into the painting. So just let that dry off. Then with some raw sienna, I'm going to mix some burnt umber into that. So change the color slightly, not too strong. And run that along by the step around the pots down to the bottom of the painting. And again, while it's still wet, a stronger mix of the same colour. So, burnt umber, and just stipple some of that texture into the foreground. So this is wet into wet. Then allow that to dry. Next, I'm going to paint in the pots. So with the medium detail brush, I'm going to start with some burnt sienna, fairly pale. Wash that into the first pot, right the way up to the uh, masking tape on the edge of the painting. And while that's still wet, 
with the color shadow, run that darker color down the side of the pot so this is wet into wet. Just fade that into the right hand side and allow that to dry. Same thing on the other side. So, burnt sienna. So plenty of pigment on the brush. Bring that down to the bottom of the pot. Some shadow. And drop the shadow in wet into wet. Put some shade underneath these flowers as well. While that's drying, use the golden leaf brush, squeeze the water out of the brush, pick up some color, a light color first. This is um, some sunlit green. And start to stipple some of the leaves on this overhanging plant at the top of the painting. Wash the colour out, move on to a darker mix. This is country olive. Stipple into that. This is still wet, so some of this is going to uh, uh, bleed into each other. Bring down some leaves over the stonework, into the corner of the painting, a little bit darker. This is midnight green. And just push the brush firmly onto the paper and leave the texture of the leaves on the stonework. Moving down to the, uh, the pot in the foreground, a similar technique. Start with a light colour, stipple, light colour first, then onto a darker colour. Then bring that right the way down at the back of the pot. And just to finish off the, uh, the leaves on the plants with the medium detail brush, you can just paint in one or two leaves on the outer edge of the foliage. And at the top here, just get rid of some of that white right on the edge of the painting. Then allow that to dry.